Hello everyone, welcome back to Fable Heyman Age of Wonders 4. Grand Emperor Shek Zia is at war with almost all of Pandaria, with only Jaina going through her emo phase, standing at her side, and Blint the Underking has rejoined the Alliance, the Unholy Alliance, to hopefully be a distraction for the Klaxi in the north, because we are losing the city of Corvess. Now we're going to take it back. Oh, Varian himself is here. You know what that means. You know the rules. And we can get an Umbral Mistress to join the Legion. I already had one. Hmm. What does this army need? Probably have another, another Frontliner. There we go. Spread out the Umbral Mistresses. The glorious tier 4 units. But because King, High King, Varian Rin, is here, I must see to this personally. Reclaiming Corvass. Restoring my Materium. Because I was calculating, thinking about where we go from here. As far as, like, tomes are... Tomes are concerned. Because we have the... Two new tier 3 tomes. We have both of them. And we're going to make good use of them, I assure you. So, uh, the Pyre Warden pumping will soon begin. Soon. Precious soon. But in the meantime, not sure what to do here. What, how do you awaken? Do you awaken? I don't actually think mythic units can awaken. That's fine. Is that a dragoon? It is. Smack that. All under flow. Slow that. All under flow. That way it can't attack. Ho oh, oh. <laughs> ho. No retaliations. And now it's constricted. Ugh. Oh. Now remember, these um, things... are decent melee combatants, the Dragoons, but they're not built for melee, you know? In chain? Ooh, resisted, okay, fair enough, fair enough. He is standing inside of the, um, I think if I stand here and then do this, it'll hit the cannon. Oh. He is standing inside of the warding, so maybe, perhaps I should have suspected that. I can stun this. I can make it go insane. Which I think I will. Oh, right! My dust, my stuff hits two things now, doesn't it? Oh, that's incredible. Good, Anakin. Good. Yeet. And Misfortune. Ugh. It's all coming together. I could rip the shot. Look at that damage. Sure, let's rip it. Our goal is to pull things towards us, not walk into them. I mean, typically when I draw someone insane, drive someone insane, I don't want to, you know, deal a bunch of damage to them because I want them to be at max strength to screw people over. Are you heartless? You should be. No? Not heartless? Question mark? Not heartless. Okay. Surprising. And there's Misfortune. You know, Misfortune has really grown on me. Here's the Immobilize. Yes, yeah, smack up. Good. Good. Positioning bad. Awakened remove. Wow. Hyper awareness, huh? Intriguing. Well, I think I'll just heal up real quick. Siphon the life force of this non living creature. Oh, I blocked myself though. I needed to move. Shucks. 
Why didn't these guys move? I wonder. Or did they and it just didn't show me? Well, anyway. Varian Rin has chosen death. Hey, you know what would be great? I'm going to summon an elemental to be a distraction. What kind of elemental would you want? I don't know, any melee variant. Fire elemental it is. Thanks, game. <laughs> Enrapturing truth. I don't really want to dominate anything. It's Varian, we don't really care. Yeah, I mean, I could get this guy going. He is constricted. None of my tricks are really helpful here. We'll just mind spike him. Hate to see it. Misfortune. Death. It is the end. Escapable in the Okay. Wow. 25% chance and we got the kill. Alright, I think I'm just getting my turn here. Well, maybe we can waddle over here. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Surrender. I love the Emerald Mistresses. They're so good. They're a very peculiar character, but they're so good. Ow. Rude. Well, I suppose this guy's doing what he was summoned to do. So something I was thinking about is, um... My damage is pretty low. I don't like that. So I was debating going for the Tome of Roots because that would give us an enchantment for both the ranged characters and the melee characters. I think that is probably the play that I will be pursuing in the future. And it might even be the next tome. We'll see. I could go for the, I don't know what it's called, but the Tome of Lava. That's his new name. Farewell. Varian Rin, the High King of Stormwinds. You really not dead yet? Okay, I can just do this. Ye I'm surprised the army didn't break sooner. But oh, that's what it is. Corvess is ours, now that I stand on it. Thank you. Which puts her back in Governor, which brings our Materium back up, or at least it will in a second, I hope. Were we debating doing Merchant Skill here? I think I was. I think I was thinking about it. Let's do it. Oh, I can't make any Pyre Templars here. Well, I'll make some Zephyr Archers. We had a YOLO army here. Oh, I think it returned to uh, Corvess. Ah, oh, should be great to go deal with these, wouldn't it? And Moira was here, but Moira disappeared. I don't know where she went. Hmm. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is our team will return. Our team that was over here shall return to lead the assault on Varian once again and then this stack which is now building will clear out the crap around here and defend against moira's incursions and that will include this stack which is returning home just wait here for a second we'll probably grab the banner with them and then enter the teleporter to get over here so you're waiting here this is our doggo of doom which can go find out what's going on over here. Flame Blessed Champions are in. Ooh, the Throne of Insidious Whispers is very good. Honestly, what makes it so good is just the bonus casting points. I can also try Golden Horde. I'm really curious if this will work with the Smithing Guild. 
I have a feeling it won't, but it might. We have acquired haste berries, which is fine. I just need astral dew, huh? Astral dew, huh? Kazir. Hmm. I think we'll just keep on the training. The training is so good. You can have the Locket of Channeling, the Amulet of Vitality, and the Wand of Blizzards. There we go. New Empire skill is available. Stolen power. I don't think I ever really get stolen power. We'll grab Siege Masters because that's going to be very important. Garrosh has been felled by the might of Jaina Proudmoore. Wait, was that not Varian himself? Oh, it might not have been. Hmm. I've lost this war. No, go away. Your prime good. Wow. Varian has crossed you. I could not care less. Rivalry between Jaina Proudmore and Varian win. Welcome to the war, my dear. Shall we see if the, the these individuals are looking for stuff? Flesh or gold? Hmm. Is it from my capital city again? It is. Well, a feast upon the weak of the brood. After all, we are no longer breaking upon the wall of Pandaria. The great wall of the Panda Land. So we shall break upon the mouths of the Umbral Tyrants. Who I was informed, you can still get them with the Polymorph trick. But you can't use the Polymorph trick if it's the Umbral Tyrant from the Umbral Dwelling. It has to be an Umbral Tyrant from an upgraded infestation. Apparently. Also, they can spawn through Call of Chaos, which is uh, this thing. But I have never had good luck with Call of Chaos. There's actually a lot of really cool things you can get from the Call of Chaos. I just don't get them. <laughs> it's never happened to me. Ooh. Okay, Varian. I see how it is. You're building your strength over here, but I think you'll find that it will fail you. Okay. They, of course, cannot build inside the domain of an enemy player. Perfect. Oh, I'm actually... Oh, it's Living Forest. What a... How unfortunate. How unfortunate. You guys are going to go grab the banner. Boom. It does kind of suck to not give the banner to a hero, but... Hey. We have some... A full stack of legends, basically. So a legend Zephyr Archer has 135 hit points. 6-4 defense. What did you get for your max rank? Eagle, or not max rank, uh, champion is Eagle Eye, which is incredible. It's in here somewhere. Plus one range, yeah. And we can give them even more range. Grab our first Void Stone. And I was told that you can dismantle individual provinces over here. But I gotta be honest. Oh, here it is. Okay. You click on the province expansion and then you hit this button. So I could get rid of 30 gold income for another shadow stone, and it might be worth it. Excuse me, void stone. Hmm. I'm both doing something ultra packing at plus 30 knowledge. Because we just got our first one, this might not be something we need to pursue immediately. Gold per unit tier killed. I think I'll take that. Sure. Why not? The invading silviculture is about to end in four turns. That's fine by me. 
And we'll soon have Flame, a blessed champion. And we're going to get new heroes soon, which we can start pumping out the, uh, the Luth's Chosen. Which, of course, have an Imperium upkeep, which sucks, so I'll have to be careful, but... It'll probably be worth it. They are the Scourge of Autumn, which I don't think is the best one. That's okay. Moira's way over there. The Klaxi are dominating Blint, which, as a Manted Supremacist, does bring me a little bit of joy. Uh oh Perhaps I should come assist you. Again. My useless vassal. But hey. They're not the most useless thing in the world because they are still providing benefits. There's no Sanctuary Outpost here. Double gold node. Alrighty. I don't think we can actually make it to the tile this turn. So what I should do... Ugh, I'm still in a forest. Is your whole bloody domain forest Barry and Rin? I think so. I could go for a province uh, a terrain thing, but I don't think I actually have any. Okay. So... It would take me... I could actually get up there pretty quickly. Can I get up there pretty quickly while still... Crumpin'? I wonder if I'm actually slower. Um, because I'm not fast embarked. You know? What are you standing on? Fishing node. This should be a dangerous fight. Oh, hey. I could dominate a Kraken? You know what? Sure. Let's do it. I have never gotten a Kraken before. Now, of course, they can only be used in the water. You can't pull them out, unfortunately. But, um... At least I don't think you can. I'm pretty sure you cannot. Do I want to bring the Pyro Warden to reinforce? I will. Zanves. Others said set production. I'm like, or set governor. I'm like, wait a minute. I have a governor. Research post with a fishing node. Don't mind if I do. We could make this the Scholar Guild. Although, hmm. I kind of wanted to make this the, um, the Seafarer's Guild. Love me a Seafarer's Guild. Could this be, place be a Scholar's Guild? Unlikely. Maybe? There's a freaking mage band up there. Hmm. Possibly. Maybe I will. I never... I never feel good when I don't have a, a Scholar's Guild. At least one. I need one. You know? Also, the only thing that's boosted are defenses, and I don't know how I feel about that. Sure. Flame Blessed Champions are ready. The melee, this mix of melee attacks have a 60% chance to inflict burning. If the target has five stacks of burning, create cleansing flame on the target hex. The effects are repeated, but not repeating skills. Daniel has crossed you, don't care. Daniel has crossed you, super don't care. I can make a new bounty. Yeah, I don't particularly mind. All right. I don't see any units here. 
I don't have the greatest siege projects in the world. I also have no vision because of the, um, <laughs> the forest penalty. The living forest penalty. I didn't realize this entire bloody pro uh, city was on forests. You know, maybe I should build the um, these because Moira keeps popping out of nowhere. I have to assume she's coming from over here, the umbral gateway. A risky battle. We'll see how the auto does, but I have to fight this, I'm sure. I'm concerned by the amount of control loss immunity he has. Okay, so I lost four units. Um, that's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Yeah, so... Uh, the Dreadnought, the Severing Golem, the Bronze Golems are all control loss immune. Which is the majority of this army. Hmm. That is mildly infuriating. Huh? Huh. Huh? Mm -hmm. And the cannons. Hey, and the hero. Actually, the hero is not control loss immune. Well, then. Very well. Okay, oh, hey, blessed champion. Let's, um... I mean, stacking is a dangerous endeavor against dreadnoughts. But I think it's the world we live in. You know? We live in dangerous times. I don't particularly have any stacking buffs. Hmm. Hmm. I just have a lot of awakening. I'd love to hit the archers with it. At least you can pinpoint it. Interesting. Okay. Next we rip out some summons. The mid's a bit vulnerable here. So that'll do. Okay. The severing golem is probably going to do its huge AoE. If I had to guess. Do you think the AI uses tuning kits? No. Well, that's fine. They're aggressing on me. Oh yeah, that's probably what happens. Um, last time and I was like, wait a minute, they aren't coming at me? I bet they got immobilized. So the AI suffered as I have suffered. Wow, what is the chance of that always spawning an Emerald Mistress? Please don't crash. Interesting. Ah. A curious turn, to say the least, but it's okay. Alrighty. I see lots of buffs here, and I think I'm going to try this Corrupted Boon thing. So basically, they lose all positive effects, and if there is a negative variant, they suffer the negative variant. They're slowed. You know what that means, team. That's right. No retaliations. I have to go, like... Yeah, let's go here. And then kaboom. Mobilize was completely shut down, but hey. Being in melee with him is probably going to be very rude. Give some more defenses to you, because that's how shield boys work. I wouldn't mind.
I wouldn't mind the dreadnoughts hitting O here. Via assassination. Assassin. We could also go for a, a desperate anguish play. Did we try that? No, oh, you have Twin Awakening. There you go. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to Eldrick phase up. I don't want to go that far, though. And we're going to go for a desperate anguish play to try and stun some stuff. I thought it would hit something nearby. But I did stun the hero, so... Good enough for me, I suppose. How's this all going? It's going. Aim this way. Kaboom. Ripping zero immobilizes. I'm here in time to stuff up. Hmm. Wow, 80% chance to chain that guy? I'm in. I'm down. Now, because he's immune to control loss, or he's heartless, so that does less morale damage, but it's fine. I say this every time, but it boggles the mind that that does not do friendly fire. Befuddles the mind. I'd go for that. Ah, we'll wait a turn. I'm playing very aggressively here. Could try and freeze it, I guess. Hey, look at that. No spear boy for you. Okay, can I land an assassination here? That is slow, not immobilized. Chain. Oh, hey, this is just a flat minus 20. Interesting. Hmm. What if I don't care? There's a thought. Can I enchain the dreadnought? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Think what I'm gonna do. Shoot him. And I'm gonna go for the assassination on this guy. 39%. Oof, yeah, okay. I was not confident in that at all. Not even a little bit. Zero confidence. Alright. That was a turn. I played incredibly aggressively. Let's see how punished I am. Ooh, pretty punished. That was a very good... Uh, whatever that thing is called. Okay. That's fine. Something was stunned. Good fumble. Broadside shot. Ow. Lots of shots coming in. I might heal the Sovereign. If I can get the Sovereign over here... Eh. I've already used to teleport. It's probably very unlikely. I think I just go for a Blessed Champion here. Probably on you. You're kind of dying. Oh, you're stunned as well. Thankfully, this guy turned his back to me. The hell are you obscured by? Hmm. This has gotten a little awkward. What are you, you're in chain to the guy right in front of you, aren't you? Yeah. Perfect. Get that going. 
Now the Awakeners can do their thing. Found a pretty good spot. I should have done that first, I think. Well, I don't know what's going on here. But we'll just rip the shots, I guess. As will you. Big misfortune damage. Gratitude. Kill. Fantastic. Even with all the 50%, they couldn't stop me. This might be tentacle time, team. Over here. Bat. A bat conscription. Constrict constricted, that's the word. You're immobilized. You know what I wouldn't mind from this? I wouldn't mind going... Oh, that might be fun. What if we go alchemy? Hear me out. If we go alchemy... Make sure that guy doesn't die. If we go alchemy... The supports that I'm actually still using will get a lot stronger. And we might be able to do some weird condemning shenanigans. Draw cleansing. This guy's only a summon, but look at how much stuff he's tying up in here. This guy might be dead. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go here. This ties up the Dreadnought and the Severing Golem. This hits nothing, right? Yeah. I wish this cleansed. Could you imagine how great that would be? How insanely strong that would be. I might just heal the Sovereign here. I think that's the play. That's in the turn. Okay, my Honorable Demon Summon is gone. We got a good graze. Some scattered shots that actually worked in their favor, except for the fumbling bed. Broadside, oof. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Oh, well. Polearm's doing polearm things. Shots in the Severing Golem. I think that was a fumble kill. <laughs> Good fumble. Oh, I got a crit at the end there. Oh. He dropped the spell for that. Suppressing Barrage. I think that's a reverse spell. Okay. All in all, I think it's gone okay so far. Long range, huh? That's with you being awakened as well. I have the heal. I might be able to save this guy. We'll see. I like the damage. I respect it. But the kill is most important. Break them. Take from them. Who plus the champion again? So even though they have control loss immunity, do you think I could still delirium them? Hmm. Maybe not. Am I just doing Blessed Champion again? I might be. There. Well, Blessed Champion are Zephyr Archers. Oh, these are Dusk Hunters. Yeah, well. Should have blessed these guys. Waken you. 
blow this guy into oblivion. It was unnecessary in the ends. Surrender. Sure. I'll take that. I think we take this. We'll try and enchain the severing golem. It was a whiff. Just shoot it. Why are you so tanky? Let's not hit our friend, shall we? Boom! The enemy flees, but we shall not permit them to. Uh, the reason we're not letting them go away is because they will spawn right next to us. So I need to clean up as much of this as humanly possible. Well, they'll spawn right next to us if they escape. So. I have to try and kill everything here. And I once again am of the opinion that I don't have enough damage. We can move. So, ways to get more damage. How do we do that? Besides having higher tier units, we need, like, enchantments. So, enchantments... We can boost our current enchantments with getting more... Well... Uh, by getting more... Please don't crash. more condemn to boost the effectiveness of our zealotry. That's another way. And I don't think that's impossible. But hey, let me clean this up real quick. Alrighty. I only lost one unit and the snick is the only thing that got away. It was a legendary stone spirit I lost, which is a hefty loss, I will admit, but that's fine. You know what's not fine? Being on a forest tile. That is actually proving to be quite the complication. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I can change that either. This affects the province, yeah. Hmm. Why can I not... Oh, this is still a forest tile. This is presenting a pretty significant problem, actually. A five-turn siege, bleeding all the way. I don't know about this, team. The Stone Spirit might actually die. I'm not sure if this can kill you. I think it can. Hmm. Oh, boy. Shall we test if there is a, um... Spelljammer? There is not a Spelljammer. Okay. I could get a Golden Horde in this. You know what? I'm going to try it. I'll spawn a Golden Horde here to see if I can... Reinforce an emergency. Oh, hey, there's a thing here. I bet someone already owns that. I should go kill this. I hope this is audible. Be great if it was. Close enough. Oh, and there's a thing here. I guess we're gonna let my vassal fall. I'm too busy. Too distracted. I really shouldn't. It's my only vassal. I mean, they're worthless. They're not doing much for me.
I'll do. I'll stick to the original plan. We'll just swing around here and grab everything. Okay. Throne of Insidious Whispers is in. Let's grab Pure Flame Staves. And we have our... No. Okay. That'll do. So this is now providing us with 45 mana and 5 knowledge. And of course, our first Void Stone, which is providing us plus 2 allegiance with Plus two allegiance. He's reducing the city game plus one rank. Really? With the Umbral Dwellings. Maybe I put down a Pyre Shrine here. Let's do it. Who's at the Smithing Guild? So now with the Smithing Guild, I can just absolutely pump out. Look at this. Legendary Dawn Defenders. Legendary Dusk Hunters. Champion Light Seekers and Constrictors. Oh my goodness. We have completed the Cosmo Flux Elixir by killing that, which means it was even more important than I thought it was. Gwendolyn is level 12. I'm going to take Mass Rejuvenation because we are in grave danger, team. Mark of Misfortune. Huh. So the good news... Oh, hey, Exposing Light. This is really strong. Let's get Magecraft. The good news... Oh, it's such a cool ring. Huh. Is that in combat, I have a lot of sources of healing... I can even go Ritual Dagger here. So I can try and just overcome the ridiculous bad things that are happening. Magic attacks ignore status effect. So I don't think that would actually affect my um, my Sovereign, but I'm going to give it to her. Maybe, maybe it will. Maybe it shall. Turn straining, please. I need to make a new one of these. I don't think I want Shekzir to have a Ring of the Axe, the Eldritch Lord, even though it would be very appropriate. We'll give it to Kazir. Because that gives uh, Kazir a pull. Well, if that doesn't do damage, it might not be very good. We'll see. Takris, our pole arm master. Garrosh has returned to the wherever. You have garbage, but I'll take it. Bounty posted. I don't particularly care. All right. A pyre warden is coming. So the dream here, I might be able to make this happen actually. The dream here is to get the Eldric Pact instantly by, what's it called, the Pall of Gloom or something, and drop that. Oh, that won't remove a forest, will it? Only a few. There are different uh, tags for tiles, and I'm pretty sure Gloom is, yeah, you can have a forest Gloom. Oh. What removes trees? I think it's ice and desolate and mounty, mountain. Oh, uh, well. I guess we found where uh, Moira is coming from. Probably here. Yeah, I think that's a red outline. Oh! Yeah, this goes straight to a city. There's an arcane more there. Wow, Moira has a pretty dense city structure. I like it. I respect it. Getting pretty hurt here. Uh. All right. 
I don't want to lose the Kraken. I finally have a Kraken. Let's not lose it, shall we? So, the Kraken... Besides unleashing the Kraken... Oh, yeah, I don't really have a... Oh, no wonder everything's dying. I don't really have a front line here. The Kraken is my front line. I like how it's wet. Of course it's wet. It's in the water. Uh, the Kraken is pretty cool. I'm sorry. Did I just get immobilized by vines in the ocean? Tried. A single target. I'm just going to get some bark units. The Tentacled Vortex. Deals damage to adjacent enemies. Enemies are two X's away, sustain half the damage, and are pulled. And then Pole of the Deep. Attempts to submerge an embarked unit to kill it. So it's better against, like, other players. It's not very good here against the, uh, the AI stuff, but that's okay. I don't have really good spells either. He resisted Infectious Insanity. Ridiculous. Just gonna wait. Pull this thing over here. And wait. These two Nemu are hugging each other. Try it again. There we go. I'll take it. Fifty percent? Nah. We'll just do this. How annoying. That's okay. The Kraken Distracted. Oh hey, constricted. Is uh, going to be our main DPS here. I could sprint and swing at this, but then I'd be in melee range of it, which is no good. The Kraken really did. What is happening here? Really did get immobilized by the freaking. I'm sorry, am I not doing damage here? Huh? Oh. I am doing damage. It's just going back there. I see. There we go. Great. I'm just going to wait here with uh, Tacris. I don't want to get uh, too much involved. There goes Infectious Insanity. I can heal again. Right. Now the Kraken is perfectly fine to do whatever it wants, I think. Tilly slip away. What a weird fight. What a bizarre encounter. My favorite part is that I'm being grasped by the forest in the ocean. That's definitely my favorite part. Can you come here? I don't want to go to you. Yeah, thanks. You don't have slip away, do you? No, but you have 360 defense. Should have done this first to try for Extracted. Which I got. You're running. Okay, what a bizarre encounter. Bone River Mount. But once I go... Oh, there's more. Way more over here. I was like, once I get over there, the world will be my oyster. Alas. 
Okay, so I'm going to boost this out. And now everything we build will have plus. Look, I can make legend tier 2 units. What the fuck? Except for this guy. But you know what? I think I should make another one of them. Then I'll make a constrictor. And then a whole bunch of dust cutters. And we will, of course... I am doing the tried and the true cheese. Because my next tome is going to be... The Tome of Supremacy. We, who seek to shepherd and guide our people, are gifted with glorious purpose. This righteous glory surges from our very being permeating into the flesh and spirit of our subjects and inspiring them to greatness. A victory for those on this divine path is not a possibility, but a certainty. So the Tome of Supremacy is probably one of my favorite uh, tomes in the game. I love it so much. And it synergizes so well with everything the Order Tome wants to do. And of course, it gives the most powerful combination of bolstering matrix ability in the game, in my humble opinion. I think, I mean, I kind of want all of this. The exemplar with the tentacles is hilarious. And it gives me a good, reliable shield. Boy, but I think we'll start with the Monument of Supremacy. I think that's what we'll go with. I wouldn't mind a Pyre Shrine. I don't think. Especially because I need Foresters. I must keep boosting. Oh, hey, that'll boost the Scholar's Guild as well. Fantastic. Rivalry between Blintz and Garrosh. An alliance between Garrosh and Daniel. Blint has crossed you. No, 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 Jaina, 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 listen, listen, listen. Blint is fine. This war of ours is tiresome, Shakespeare. Well, the stone spirit has died, so they can die from this. It's going to end next turn. Okay, I was like, uh, the Empress is dying. <laughs> But she'll be fine, because it's going to end next turn. Great. Uh, we have the Golden Horde coming, which will be funny, if nothing else. I'd like to cast other spells, but... Let's see. This will just take one turn. So basically, this is for support in Battle Mages, and it gives them a chance to, con uh, to inflict Condemn. So they can self-synergize with the Supremacy Magic from our new tome. Or Supreme Magic, or whatever. And they create Cleansing Flame. It's not the most important thing that we get this right now, so I guess we'll just keep casting the, the Golden Horn. I am very impressed by this. My mind is blown by the Smithing Guild. Especially combined with the Pyre thing, which is coming from the Tome of the Cleansing Flame. This is insane. I can start with a Veteran Pyre Templar, level 2. It's a tier 4 level 2 coming out right out of the gate. It's insane. How about you guys? You're a tier one, okay. I think there is a a conduit that can boost their well. Okay. This war of ours may be tiresome, but you're you're here to fuck. I won losing only the zealot and the stone spirit. The AI did so well. I bet I can do better. Also, I got five thralls out of that. I need to just start spamming stuff. Okay. I rolled Blessed Judgment, huh? So what we need to do is we need to stack. We need to stack hard or Mass Rejuve. Where do I want this heal? Probably on the Empress. This would also be very good. 
Oh, that's Spur. No, 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 I want this. Yeah. I'm sorry, this gives you Guardian? Eight, six at level one on a spear unit. Oh. Okay, Guardian is not what I thought it was, but that's still good. Come back here. I thought that Guardian was um the plus one one. Next turn we mass rejuve. I wonder where Varian himself is. I mean we're gonna find out, you know. But uh, let's get in a position here for some healing and blessing and booning. Yeah, with the exemplar, um, that'd be really good, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. This is heal from my rod, my stick. Doesn't someone have mass heal? Yeah. Oh. Empress. That'll do. Look, I could have sworn I gave someone mass heal. I did. <laughs> I did indeed. Normally I'm just sitting here watching the AI do this, but it's my turn. And next turn is mass rejuve, which is a two hex radius heal. Some very inconvenient immobilizes, but yep, it's good to me. The Empress can do nothing, interestingly enough. I mean, I could rip this. Sure. Be condemned, bitch. And I think I could even do like an infectious insanity for the lulls. Fucking nailed it. Didn't hit there, but that's okay. Oh, it was removed instantly. It's okay. No big deal. How loud they coming? Oh, you're already awakened, sorry. Not bad. I'm gonna rip some 5%. Look at that! I hit them both. Not on the target I wanted to, but I hit them both. Oh, it doesn't do damage. Mm. I think that's an item from the mod that was made before uh, the Constrictor. Because I believe the pole didn't do damage from the Astral Siphoner. So, like, it's in line with the original. We're not playing original anymore. We're on Eldritch Realms now. Um, I bet this asshole has control loss immunity. Give me a fighter. I'll take that, too. This is the Direcaster, who deals pretty significant damage to those who are isolated. Do I... I need to build the Bullstring Matrix, now that I have the Tome of Supremacy. Big damage, big damage. Honestly, the more frightening part is that I'm marked. Sanity resisted, you love to see it. When the enemy arrives, the Empress comes out to play. It's back. The fact that skirmishers get misfortune is kind of nutty, isn't it? Alright, Empress, what tricks and traps shall we? Do. 
Hmm. Your turn. Aw, the fairy resisted it. How unfortunate that you are attempting to deceive me. Next turn, Awakener is going to pop. You'll see. Good damage. If I can kill that, that'll be great. Fantastic. Now... Sure. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to believe. I'm a believer. This is going to give the Pirate Templars infinite retaliation, perfect awareness, and defensive monsters. So technically, if everything goes well, fingers crossed, they will hold the line. They will hold the well, not bad. Okay, I'm going to shoot this now. Oh, it's distracted. That means these are flanks. Love to see it. What are we going to do with Kazir? That's a great question. Duh! It is the inescapable end. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stand here like this to tie them up. And then we're going to do damage to you. Sure. What are these? Oh. oh I'm... Oh, these are from the... the Klaxi. Okay. Traitor Swarm! They're breaking pretty harshly. You'll love to see it. I'm pretty sure I cannot enchain this thing. Oh, I can. Well, okay. So much for that. So close to death. And yet... Alright, this has gone well. Let's see how our, I'm very interested in how the Pyre Wardens are going to fare here. Infinite retaliations. We got zapped by suppressing Barrage. Which is an interesting choice. Because... Oh, they just walked through. What? Oh, these guys are slippery. Hmm. I could stand here and hit them both. I could stand here and hit them both. I'm gonna. Oh. Pyre Wardens. Talk to me, Dirty. I love the Pyre Wardens. They're probably my favorite unit from the, um... The DLC. I haven't even done that many tricks. Oh, I can bless a champion then. Fuck yeah. I mean, I should have done that first, of course, but fuck yeah. <laughs> you know, just, just hashtag fable things. I guess I'm just going to hit this guy. Brick beneath the endless tide. And morale bound him successfully. I have successfully morale bombed the enemy. Um, I probably shouldn't have done that, huh? Nope. I should not have. Because now the dragon can just fly in and go giga lull. Which isn't something that people say, but... Can I freeze this? Probably not. No. Oh. 
Hello, S. My memories just went straight back to freaking World of Warcraft arenas where you're, you're just hugging a pole and praying to the dark gods that nothing can see you. Hey, why don't you go again? Because now... Oh, you're immobilized. That sucks. I was just saying, now you could go there and hit them both, but no, I cannot. Nice. This went well. I can't believe that connected. Although we are once again in a position where... Is this dread not running away? I can't let anything run or else it will go straight to... Did you just do friendly fire there? The capital. The dragon was immobilized. This is in team. The dragon was immobilized. By the way, something still hasn't run yet. Do you think I can enchain the same thing? I really need to go tell the Watcher, too. But Watcher doesn't give me more damage. I want more damage. Like that. Yes, like that. I want all the damage. Assassinate was not up, so I didn't make a mistake. You know, this hero is, um... Doing pretty good. They are not breaking. I, I will admit that. They are not breaking. But now they've been lightning, so... Fumble on a shock unit is probably one of the worst feelings in the entire game. Could you imagine you get one hit and it's supposed to be this huge slap in the face that interrupts people's retaliations and then you whiff it. Sit fast, of course. Okay, that was the turn. You know, with all this morale manipulation, maybe Tomb of the Tomb of the Doom Herald would be pretty fun. Death. It is the inescapable end. And then there was one. Okay. I told you I could do better. Again, I was kind of amazed that they didn't just like break or anything, but okay. I like how he instantly recruited a new hero. He's like, yep, another one. But Varian, you can't stop me until you come yourself, so you know. After a period of upheaval, a world seedling from a distant world has taken root, spawning a new world tree. Peace returns within the realm and balance is restored, as is nature's wont. Your troops may once again traverse the woodland safely and unhindered. Yet for all the turmoil the world seedling caused, you may have an opportunity to benefit from the woody incursion. Will you restore your lands claimed by forest, or is it more appealing to learn new power? Of nature. Yeah, I don't care. I'll take production, sure. That is pretty convenient. So, uh, the last time I had this happen in the Blind campaign, it spawned the invading sapling right next to a world tree. It's rude. It's very rude. But hey, look, now I can see again. The new stack is coming. I'm going to put the bolstering matrix in Q. In fact, I'll boost up the throne. Give me more casting points. Which actually almost completed this, the golden horde. We'll go up to tier 4. You are pretty chillin'. I should have done that in the reverse order. That's okay.
Okay. Let me diggy diggy this. Oh. You know, now that we're fine, I can start diggy diggying around. Because, I mean, oh, maybe I should wait a turn. Because that, I think, will open the way to the Undercity of What's-His-Face. Through here, maybe. Maybe I should take that city for myself, you know? Making my way downtown. There is still a... Okay, I'll wait until I can kill that. Okay. What is required? Chill. What is required? Probably chill. Let's see how bad this is. It should be fine. And it was. Would you look at that? The art of war. Yes, I'll take that. Merchant's Guild is in for Corvess. Our money is doing pretty good, I think. Our Templar, Zanvesk, and Annex further. Gold node, sure. We have captured somebody. What do you mean? This war has gone on long enough. But you still won't kneel. Elon has crossed you. I could not care less. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> uh, rivalry has ended between Jaina and Varian. Jaina, I hope you're not getting any weird ideas. Because Varian's going to die. The only question is how painful is it? Oh, it might be time to go talk to our friends as well. Friends, in quotation marks. Soon, we shall have some umbral dwelling. So they also provide with huge resources when you um, enter the pact. It's like a giga vassal. The High King is here. Have you come to sink with your ship, Varian? By yourself. Something ran off this way. Are you teleportering, or... What's going on here, Varian? You receive a troublesome word from Broodmaster Ganosh of Avalon. Our hunger grows within the umbral thralls. It requires sating. Eh. I'll give him wealth. Because somehow my vassal survived. No idea how. So because this is three turns, I feel like I don't actually have to boost it. I'll boost this one. Give mana. And I'll boost the other one. With thralls. Perfect. Two turns, two turns, and two turns. Because I'm now primeval. You'll love to see it. Is that draft? It's a corner. That's what it is. How utterly annoying. Okay. I have a stack here. So I'm going to conduct some science. Will this be all leveled up. No. They are elite, though. Is that because of... The Wizard Tower has a similar effect now, right? Starting ring to every magical origin unit. So this must be coming from the Wizard's Tower. But are you Magical Origin? No. Hmm. Well, anyway. That's one way to get a stack. Just have a legion of Tier 1 units. They wish to submit. No. Another Art of War. Wow. 
The copy of Sun Tzu's book is all over the place. Okay. This should be easy. They almost killed the Kraken again, but it was indeed pretty simple. Ah, oh, they might kill the Kraken here. I'll just wait a turn, it's fine. Cool. Palisade walls, I can't afford stone walls, but I wouldn't mind those. The Dread Waste can annex farther. Just kind of make me sad that it, like, gives the illusion. What are you hiding? It gives the illusion that you can annex into the void, but you cannot. Unfortunately. Rainbow Clover acquired. Cool. I think that's because my vassal was no longer being sieged. Let's get the Pure Flame staves. And it's time to get another hero. This hero is in the floor. I, of course, cannot afford any hero. Oh, right. We're doing something, aren't we? Yeah. Defensive pact with Moira and Garrosh. That is a curiosity. Huh. An alliance between Moira and Varian Rin. And I am now prime evil. Oh. I should have spawned the freaking thing over here. I'm kind of surprised Garrosh doesn't, or excuse me, Daniel doesn't have, um... Oh, he went Shadow. What? Ah. That's weird. I tried to get him to go... Oh, hey, Varian. You know the rules. Out of curiosity, we'll just see how the AI does. I tried to get him to go Fiends, because, you know, he's from... Wow, AI won. But I have to do it myself. Because he is the God Slayer from Warhammer. Hmm. Certainly curious. Make sure we're all huddled together. Nice and secure. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. I wonder if that's one of the many things that is bugged out with the AI. Because the AI is um, going through a tough time right now. That's what we'll call it. Not like decision-wise, even though, you know. Oh! I'm prime evil. That's right. What the fuck? Why can I not target... Oh, I can't target the tile you're on. Okay. Um... The... What culture? The high culture has a unique feature where when it is prime good or prime evil, it has a special effect. And I think prime good gives you city stability or something, but Prime Evil makes it so that whenever you are, when you start combat, everything in the stat, everything in, in combat is, my brain's getting there, I promise. When you start combat, everything in combat will start awakened, which is actually kind of insane. We start with Bless's Champion, fantastic. So I don't have to awaken until next turn, but unfortunately, because the AI is, well, the AI and taking their sweet time getting over here.
we will probably have to awaken some sprints going down. Okay. Hey, Varian. Okay. Hmm. Well, I know I just said something about the AI behavior, decision-making not being off, but man, it gets me every time they do. Are you wind buried? What the fuck? Oh, it's blink. Okay, never mind. You were mobilized. That's unfortunate. Seventy-nine percent in chain. Wow, that guy has such a weak mind. Do I do damage or do I break his soul? Hmm. A tough choice, to be sure. Do I want to? Well, ah, we'll, we'll inspire. That's fine. I might actually be in danger here. My Pyre Warden that I want to buff into Oblivion. There are four heroes here. Oh, interesting. If you alt that, it does do bonus damage. Or, it does do friendly fire. Interesting. I'd love to heal to remove the immobilization of my boy, but... Instead... I'll just summon a shock spirit. Hmm. Oh, hey. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Oh, you healed a little bit. Cute. Mimbalus. Hmm. I can't move. Hmm. Then you get to live, I think. could teleport over here and kill it, but I mean, that guy's insane. Maybe it'll be fine. Hi. Right. Some 35s. Please don't hit me, though. Okay. I'm done. Grit. Uh, we... Assassinate resisted, get fucked. Good grazes on the that hero over there. Okay. Oh, it's time for the Pyre Warden to do Pyre Warden things. Oof. The question is, do I bless a champion or do I do other stuff? I'll bless a champion, sure. Then I have to spur him. Because he's my boy. Spur. And you know what? I will once again retaliate and growth him. There we go. Good. Good. What are we doing with you? I might. I might. I might pull out the western there. Southern. I might back off here. A little bit with our other hero. I'm gonna have a zealot smack the shit out of this chick. Are you a summon? You are. Very inconvenient. I'm gonna go for an assassinate. Hmm. 
kind of want to hop down here. But I can't. So I think I'm going to tie these guys up. And I'm going to smack the shit out of this thing. It is a summon, so I'm going to try to ignore it. Are you a transmitter? Oh, you are. Look at that. Break your mind and soul. Can you condemn an innocent man? I don't know why I thought of Davy Jones. Um, yeah, I think you're leaving. And just do this, I guess. What is it? Is this? Oh. Sure. Oh, that's right. They, they, um... Buff that, didn't they? It's like, why can I cast this for one? A few things are, no are more annoying than this being here. Here, I'll just eat it, it's fine. Yes, it was a combat summon. Yes, it wasted my time. Now I got to attack that. Sure. We'll go in on this. That's fine. Then... My mind went to a very strange place again. But I said, we'll go in on this. My brain immediately went, Diana win! <laughs> I don't know why. Why am I like this? Thinking of it, Dehenoin wouldn't be a bad choice for um, the next playthrough. The Anti-Abyss playthrough, although it's not like I can make a very good... Ow? Uh, using Lizard... Uh, good Grace. Uh, using Lizardkin, I feel like, is better for making the, the Saurus-type characters. Rather than the, the Skink characters. Even a skink as thick as uh, the Hanoin. This almost feels like a waste of your turn. Actually, it does feel like a waste of your turn. Be condemned. And again, they're not allowed to flee because they will be back if I let them. Although, to be fair, I'm not sure if there's enough time. We'll find out. Alrighty, a clean victory. Only the Dragoon got away. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? I mean, this is going well. The siege started off a little suspicious, considering the whole, you know, the forest is killing my my units, but it's um recovered quite well. Look at the endless possibility when you have actual support units. Mind blown. <laughs> my normal type playthrough wouldn't have these supports here. And things would be a little complicated, I think. I mean, while I'm doing all this crap, they still. Alrighty. I might as well go over here. Clean this stuff up. Really, no reason not to. The Kraken can stay here. Honestly, let's be honest, I should get rid of this. It's causing imp costing Imperium. It's very unfortunate. I can eat this up now. Should I have a Pyro Warden be doing that? No, of course not. The Anthem of Victory! Get the order amplifying lens, and then we will get the monument. After that, the wombo combo is almost here. Oh, hey, it's Daniel. How you doing, Daniel? What you up to, bud? Not much. Eldric breach. Wait, doesn't that mean you went the same thing I did? Hmm. 
How very unfortunate. Oh, yeah, I need to get into the hero. That's right. That is correct. Rank training, please. Any other weapon I want to give you? Nope. No siree, Bob. My Grand Empress. What level are you now? 14, okay. Could go experience leader for her, I guess. Sure. Combined with the, um... The wars... The art of war. She should level people really quickly. You should also have it. Probably over the locket of channeling. And then... Do you have one? You do now. Great. Oh, you know what I, was, what I should do? I should uncue that. I can't quite afford... Actually, their level doesn't matter. Put this in the pocket. Then we recruit the lowest level hero. Sure. And uh, they're about to learn the hard way that the Manted strive for perfection. Master of House is actually pretty good if you do go with the whole um, befriending people thing. Not befriending, not people, but you know, the. Not people, we don't call them that. <laughs> The, uh, the Umbral Dwellings. Because these count as vassals for the purposes of Master of Houses. Yarash has crossed you. There's a war party coming from way over here. I can make a new bounty. Blint wants me to capture this. Oh. That'll probably go away once, um... Varian falls. Because I'm pretty sure the reason he wants me to capture it is that it's bound, right? So it became an objective. I don't particularly like bounties. I've used them once. And, like, the idea of a bounty is really fun. Because you can... Like, the idea behind it is you can direct where you want the AI to go. Uh, which can be very helpful. But the AI gives 100% of their being to fulfill the bounty. If they accept it. The one time I've used it was in the the Kassesic playthrough. And Moradin accepted it. Not Muradin from WoW. Moradin um, accepted the bounty and just went straight after the Avatar of Shar. Like, he spent 20 turns just full committed to breaking her capital down. What's going on? I met another one? Where are you? Oh, that's a pretty good one to take. Did Jaina? Oh, maybe I needed to do that. A wounded scout arrives at your court, her armor torn and battered. The butcher! Yeah. Oh, look, the butcher events here. Wow. I can block draft and gain stability. Oh, I can accept that. Oh, no. Jaina is not the leader of this. I thought it was. I thought she was. So how do you get here? Why do I have vision of this? I don't know. This is one of those weird ones that's like buried deep in the abyss. I don't feel that bad about them. Um, this, but hey, the time has come. Yes, I'm going to fight this. More for the meme than anything. But the, the rules state that I have to manually fight any battle that has the Lord. Interesting that that kind of... It has the Lord in it. Or, like, the leader of the faction. Or is the fight for the capital city. Do I have a spur? 
Can I get a spur over here? But I can find the right button. Ba 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 ba. Almost. Really? Here you go. Right in the face. I've gotten so much knowledge from killing Varian's heroes. You have crumbled the last defenses of Varian Rin and cast him into the Astral Void, banishing him from this realm. Whatever schemes Varian Rin had in the works, none of them shall come to fruition. The last of his misguided troops flee to hide in the hills and woods, his Operation Shield Wall, their spirits crushed by their false idol's yoke, now find themselves at your mercy, O oh, glorious Grand Empress. Whatever the future holds, Varian Rin is a thorn in your side no more. How will you commemorate this extraordinary victory? With a parade, of course. Migrate to Mantid. We will take the capital of our former enemy and plant a beacon. Yeah, I see we lost that. Or he lost that. To Manted Supremacy. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I was sitting on a mountain, I think. I really don't care. I'm just curious if, um... This all connects. I think it does. Maybe I should have taken this city. I mean, I can vassal the city and then just absorb it later if I need, if I'd like to. Oh, then I have to migrate it. Ugh, it's fine. Whatever. Make sure everyone's in here. Very good. And we're gonna go defend our other city. Zenvest must be saved. This is only going to take a turn, so we'll just stand on our prize. I don't think anyone could even, would even try to come over here and stop me, but you never know. Can't stop me now. There we go. Fire fortune is acquired from somebody. I have a ball. Look at that. Where did I get you? Oh, I have my friends now. Friend? Friend. Look at the, oh my, oh my knowledge. And now what comes the fun part. So we can learn from them spells using Imperium. And uh, we of course are gonna start with Umbral Flesh. And we'll also, do we grab the altar? So the Ritual of Gloomvale, all units in your empire gain Umbral Malady immunity. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is the first enchantment that affects the entire empire. I believe that is the case. 140 gold for 70 knowledge. Man, I am tempted by that. <laughs> that is so tempting. Um, but the reason why I'm going to take this is because this will affect the... Um... I mean, I guess I could just give him into an army. Maybe we'll hold. The 250 Imperium is freaking expensive. Uh, but we are going to grab the Altar of Marching Gloom, and we are going to grab the Pall of Gloom. Umbral Flesh. We are grabbing Anthem of Victory. Boom, boom, boom. Now, the reason... Oh, hey, look. I have three Void Stones. So I have Void Ink, which gives me lots of knowledge. You'd love to see it. It's because these guys all have void stones somewhere. Tacris has leveled up. Luth's Chosen is ready. This is our reward from the Toll of Seasons. And it allows us to transform one of our heroes into the Scourge of Autumn. I'm not sure this encourage is coming from, gotta be honest. 
So this guy will give Presence of Gales to whenever he's in combat, which is absolutely insane. And it the Presences can stack, but I don't think it'll stack. I don't think that one will stack. You're lucky. Ooh. I do need a new governor. Hmm. Rooted healer. No. We'll just grab this as a real character. Or will we? I think we will. I don't really want too many of the Scourges, you know? Not really my shtick. I kind of want to give someone a gun. And I just had a really funny idea. <laughs> a truly hilarious idea. Archery, sprint, archery. Oh, I don't have... Hmm. I don't have very many good things for this, do I? No. It's fine. It's fine. So what I want to do is I want to give her a gun, which I happen to have one right here. Because I want to play with the new mage lock. I mean, I used it in the blimp playthrough and it was fun, so... You and you, sure. But I'm going to make this Let's see if this will fit. Voice. Will the whole thing fit here? I don't think it will. Oh well. The voice of the Empress. So the voice of the Empress is actually a real mantid. And um I think I wanna say it's the first. boss of the Heart of Fear, I think. He basically flies around. He actually kind of looks like that, except for this weird belt thing that's going on. I'm not sure where the belt is. Outfit, right, because this is a cape. Sure. But yeah, the voice of the Empress flies around and, like, is the voice of the Empress. You know? Yelling at people. What happened to you? Anyway. I'm just going to remain at war with all these. Rivalry between Daniel and Blinty Boy. Yulon has crossed you. That's perfectly fine, Jaina. I'm at war with Yulon. Was there a defensive back between Moira and... Hirosh? Yes, we have a bunch of Eldritch packs now. Man, I'm tempted to take this, but I still need the money. What about you? 56 gold for 70 mana. Why can't I get an Astral Dew from him? Isn't he already giving me an Astral Dew? Can I get two Astral Dews? Uh, I don't need the mana. If that was mana for gold, I'd take it. Uh, mana for knowledge, I'll take that. I was complimented. Daniel is coming. So I can actually tell these guys where to go. Um, where are you? You are... Here. Oh, your way out is very annoying, isn't it? I'm just going to send everyone after the Klaxi. Because they're the traitorous swarm. Then we have to think about, do we want to befriend one of these guys? Hmm. Maybe. Truce in one turn. Are you sure? I don't know. That seems pretty unlikely. So the Pall of Gloom. Now that we have Umbral Flesh, which are going to be popping. The Pall of Gloom is incredibly powerful. 
It's funny because it's like the very first spell you can get from them, but it's probably one of the strongest. And the reason is because the AI often doesn't ally with these things. Jaina's about to ally with one of them. Good on you, Jaina. Which means they often don't have Umbral Flesh. So if you haven't given people Umbral Disciples, the Gloom is literally your best weapon for just erasing the AI off the map. So with Paul of Gloom, you can, of course, drop it in their own terrain, and they cannot do anything about it. They might have patched the fact that you are not even safe in your own cities, but I'm not sure. Transportation Circle. What did you make that? I have no idea. But the voice of the Empress is here. I don't even remember what trace you had. I wanted Beloved, but... Obviously not quite what we got. Oh yeah, you were lucky for combat. That's right, because I wanted to give you a gun. Yeah. So it might be time to actually make an item forge here. After the Monument of Supremacy. Um, where did I put this? I actually, for once, don't want to get rid of my my foresters because that's what stacks my smithing guild. I wonder how the, I don't actually know how this works. Do I want them far away from each other or do I want them close to each other? Hmm. Beats me. But you can expand here and then build it, and it's fine. Okay, how are we doing? We're making our way downtown. I actually kind of screwed up here. That'd be fine. Daniel's decided to turn around, maybe? This is just science to see where this goes. Looks like it does connect. Okay. Again, should... Oh. Is that Moira over here? Should a Pyre Warden be the one sciencing? Probably not. That's kind of just how it wound up. I want to go that way. I probably should go kill that. Just because I can stay within my domain. How do I get over here? I can actually just straight up kill it, I think. Yep. I can instantly start the siege. Uh, hold on. Let me go cancel some buildings. We can never queue things up, team. It's a trap every time. Here, I'll I'll get this going because I want this really bad. Although honestly, I feel like I don't even really need it. <laughs> I'm just getting so much research from um Treasure's Reflection is incredible. From the Umbral Dwellings. It's like, do I even need this? Hey Jaina, do you have any money? Thanks, baby girl. I knew I could count on you. The adventure might actually be pretty powerful, but... I have shadow stuff boots, really. I just have so much crap, I don't even know what I have. Thanks, Jaina. Now, but back to the siege. Where even is it? Uh, over here. Yes. Okie dokie. That, 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 that. Six turns. Incredible. What if I do this? 
Still six turns, okay. But thankfully, I'm actually in my own domain, so... I'm healing all the while. I can go back to placing this down. Ah, eh, whatever, just heal that. This stack is proving to be the best so far, and I don't have any hero skills. That's fine. Zanvest can annex again. Hmm. What do I want? Money. What kind of question is that? Garrosh has once again been felled by the hands of Jaina Proudmore. Huh. Proud of you. Hey, look, you have the Art of War as well. Your stack kind of sucks, but I'm proud of you. There is a food shortage here, yes. Daniel has crossed you. War has ended. Okay. I'll feed them the weak and the young. The weak, specifically. I've lost so much random pop to that. Thankfully, I'm growing pretty quickly, so not the end of the world. If I were a Seafarer's Guild, I'd grow even quicker. That's okay. Let me be honest, team. I don't know how Dawn Spear survived. I really don't. I wish I could get vision over here. And then I just drop a pall of gloom on top of his territory. Should I try that? I think I want to. Because he doesn't have Umbral Malady immunity. And I'm pretty sure he won't, considering he's like a good guy. Which is boring. Rune Star, huh? Then you send something after me. Everyone stay in our domain. Daniel is indecisive. Which is fine by me. If he wants to wait and twiddle his thumbs, I'm okay with that. I think I'm going to pull out one archer from here and take the constrictor just to have a slightly more well balanced stack. Look at that, it does it goes all the way around. Ah, oh, shite. Means I'm gonna have to kill this. That's a pretty good stack. Hmm. I don't want to waken her. It's my front line in here though. Ah, the scourge and the pyre ward in our decent front line. Look at the draft. My goodness gracious. I'm not going to rebuild these because what's his face is right next by. But it is time to embrace the power of the Shah. This gives us Umbral Malady Immunity, which we already had because of our Umbral Stalker. But while in Gloom, we will gain plus in morale in combat. We will heal for 12 hit points per turn. Cities of this race that have a Gloom terrain will gain plus two knowledge and ignore the city's ability in penalty. And all hero units will gain Gloom Shepherd which before was the only way to protect those who were not a part of your culture. But now, of course, we have the Ritual of Gloomvale, which can be used in its stead. I think I'm going to get a Pall of Gloom in the pocket. I can just start dropping that in my terrain if I think the altar is too slow, which I kind of do. And, of course, the altar has to consume another point, so... That might be just how it be. I'm making 700 gold a turn. My game threatened to crash there. 
and we are going to see in but a moment the rally. What horrifying creatures shall we pull from the Umbral Abyss? Now, I'm not going to use too many of these. After all, Mandate Supremacy. But the Shah took on many forms. So we can just think of this. Like, the word Shah is very vague, because any little thing can be a Shah. The really big, scary Shah, like the Shah of Fear that we absorbed, was called a Prime Shah. There were only seven of those. And three of them are represented in this campaign, actually. Shah of Pride, Garrosh. Shah of Fear, me. Wait a minute. Did I overlap? I think I did. Because me, Shah of Fear... Shaw of Anger with Jaina, who just did something to herself. Shaw of Pride with Daniel, hence the Prideborn part. And then Garrosh, well I guess Garrosh is Yasharaj, right? The avatar of Yasharaj. Which is different. Although the Pride one, yeah, yeah, we're fine, we're fine, I didn't make a lore mistake. I have certainly twisted and abused the lore, but I didn't make a lore mistake, big difference. So I'm just going to drop this. This is the old, um... Oh, they're coming for you. The old summoning thing where you can just drop this anywhere you have vision. Eat. Look at this. And now, I think they're going to suffer per turn. Maybe. They might have made it so you're safe in a city. Because the AI will literally just stand inside of it and die. Is interesting. Shall I repeat myself? Many co I have 160 casting points. Cool. Well, I mean, we're staring at each other intimidatingly. I want to drop it here as well. Yeah, you're chilling. Exemplar is in, so we can start making another tier 4 unit, as if I weren't spending enough Imperium. We could go Consecrating Firestorm, which is hilarious. It's not the best world map spell in the game. But it's pretty neat. Blinding in a 2-hex radius could also be pretty fun. Although we did just kill the Reaver opponent. Where would I put this? Probably here. Again, I don't want to rebuild these because he's literally standing right outside my city. I don't know if he's just having a moment. <laughs> Is an evocation? Or what? But rivalry declared between Blint and Daniel. Daniel has crossed you. I could not care less. A Whispering Stone has returns. Why? Ah. Okay. War has ended. Because we're in a true state with these people. Thanks to Jaina, it looks like. Asher has a war party. Well done! Barry and Rin's empire is defeated. This brings us both a step closer to claiming victory. So what did you do, Jaina? Oh, Jaina has umbral flesh now. Well done. So, our disgusting looking rally of leeches. We can get the dire casters, which I absolutely will. Umbral Mistress, don't need him. Dire caster. Oh, yes. We can get two of them. Three of them. Oh, these are my favorite units in the game. They're so fucking funny. Absolutely. We're going to take the evil penguins and the abductors. Is that it? I think that's it, team. So in the Blint playthrough, I couldn't get these, but they are peak hilarity. I can't show you now that I've selected it, but um, they do what they suggest they do. They eat people. Bitch, I eat people! And on that note, we'll eat people next time. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the destruction of High King Varian Rin. The Grand Empress has a foothold in the center of Pandaria. And now, our next opponent seems to be Daniel, who's bearing down on his quiet heart. But shall also 
all from glory. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you'd like to stay up to the channel, feel free to join the description down below. And I will see you next time to abduct some bitches.